In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can change the default mix bus setup. First, we'll look at the default configuration and how that compares to the patch bay. Notice that we have six channels, six channels, and four channels of input by default. By default, we have six channels of output for USB 1, USB 2, and the analog outs. These numbers correspond with the number of channels per jack that you see in the audio info section. In the mixer information section, the number of input channels for the mixer corresponds to what you see in the mixer pane. As we've seen in other video tutorials, that corresponds to 8 channels of input in the mixer per bus, or 4 stereo pairs. And of course, 6 channels for the output. Now we're going to choose an alternate mixer configuration. Notice that the number of channels per mixer changes, and we've added channels on the USB 1 domain. We'll see what this looks like in a moment, but first we need to commit our changes and reset the device. Now you'll see that we have an extra USB 1 domain mixer available as a source and also as a destination. This also shows up in the mixer section where we now have four buses available. If we look at the bus just added, you'll see there are no sources or destinations set yet. Now we're going to change the default patch bay configuration to make use of this new mix bus. We could make the same changes in the mixer itself. In this setup I have a Mac running live connected to USB 1 and I have an iPad connected to USB 2. I'm going to send the iPad channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 to the USB 1 mixer. Then I'm going to send the resulting mix to live on the Mac on channels 1 and 2. The result from live is then being sent to the analog mixer and from there to the stereo speakers. In the mixer, likewise, you see 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 being sent to the new mix bus. And the output is going to USB 1. And we can set individual mix levels for the channels coming from the iPad. Remember I'm sending two live from the outputs of the iConnect Audio 4 Plus on channels 1 and 2 and also receiving from the output of live into channels 1 and 2 on the iConnect Audio 4 Plus. So in live we're receiving on input channels 1 and 2 and we're sending on output channels 1 and 2. On the iPad I have two tracks set up in Aurea to send to two different subgroups. I'm going to send those two different subgroups to output channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 from the iPad. On track 1, I have CubeSynth loaded as an IAA synth. On track 2, I have MicroTerra loaded as an IAA synth. Now according to the mix that we set up on the new mix bus, we can send the output of both synths simultaneously at different levels to live running on the Mac. Be sure to watch the other tutorials in this series for more on exploring the iConnect Audio 4 Plus and configuring it with iConfig.